What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to mobile optimize your Unbounce landing page so that the page that you create looks good on both desktop and mobile, including tablet. So we're going to mobile optimize our landing page that we've created here, our keto diet, in the first video just last week. And um, so that's the page we've made. Now, in, on desktop, it looks good. But if we hit preview to show you what this looks like on mobile, it's a mess, okay? And so our goal here is to make it look good. So right now, the default setting is mobile off. And if you have it on off, then there is no mobile optimization. Your page looks exactly the same on desktop as it does on mobile. And as you can see here on the phone, this is what it looks like. So people have to scroll not only up and down, but also left and right. And that can get really tedious and problematic, obviously. So if we want to mobile optimize our page, the first thing we have to do is click on on for mobile. And what that's going to do is that's going to create this little mobile variation in addition to whatever you have on desktop. So if we now click on mobile um, and we just close out of that, this is what our page will now look like on mobile. So everything will fit in between these lines, right? Now, as you can see, it's a mess. So after you do that, the second thing we have to do is apply layout assistant to all sections. Now, if you've already altered some sections and you only want to apply it to one section, you can just click the section and then say apply layout assist assistant only to that section. In this case, we didn't do anything, so we can click on all. And what this does is this kind of automatically places everything in position and in shape um, as Unbounce sees fit. So let's just give it a try and see what happens. So we click that, and as you can see, everything kind of fit into place. However, some things still don't look too good, okay? So there's still some work that has to be done. This is kind of out of proportion. This isn't in the middle. You know, the testimonials look horrible. So stuff like that, this isn't in the middle. And that's what we're going to do here. So we've done the bulk of the work. Now, if you want to adjust any element within the section, you can easily move it, and it will not affect desktop. So if we go to desktop, right, if you recall, this is what this looks like. Uh, but we want, let me see, keto diet for anyone. Uh, we want this keto diet for anyone to be at the bottom, right? So what we can do here is we can expand the section a little bit, and then we can add this to the bottom. And if you do that, you will see that your desktop version isn't affected. That is not an issue. Now, if you want to move an element out of a section, you do have to click on control. So if I, for example, take this, and I move it into a different section, such as over here, right? Now it says changes have affected the other view. And now you will see that this message is right there at the bottom. So how do we move sections into, uh, how do we move elements into a different section without affecting the current one? We hold control um, for the little Apple symbol if you have Mac, okay? So I have Windows, so I'm gonna click control. So let's suppose I want to move this right underneath testimonials. I'm going to hit control on my windows and I'm going to drag it down. And now if I go to desktop, you will see that this isn't affected. Okay. So if you want to move an element out of a section, you have to hit control or the Apple symbol or whatever that symbol is on your Apple. Okay. Uh, it, it, it shows you here. So if you drag something out without hitting control, it's going to tell you and it's going to show you what you have to do. See there, it says move uh, plus hold that little symbol plus control. Okay, so if you have a Mac, you know what, what that is. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but we're going to put this here for now because we want the two versions to match. So within a, a section, you can change elements. That's not a problem. So we're going to change this. We're going to center this. We're going to center this. Okay, everything looks good so far. Um, now let's suppose we want to change the font size. Okay, now we cannot change the font size on mobile and have it look differently on desktop. So for example, if I change this, uh, let's see, size to say 72 on mobile, that's going to affect desktop, okay? So the solution to that is, let me just click on undo uh, a few more times, there you go. So what we do have to do if you want to change the size, if this is, for example, too big, you have to change the scale. So the scale is here on the bottom right. So we're gonna adjust the scale up make it bigger or smaller, okay? And that's basically how you change the size, okay? So there's that, we've done that. So that pretty much looks good. Um, anything else, again, you can change. So for example, now, if it's within a button, I can change the size because there's no other option. 
So within a bun, I can make this, you know, 26, and that should not affect my size here. So this is still 24, okay? It's, it's exactly the same. So if you have it within a button, that won't do anything. And if I change this back to 14, I believe it was, um, that won't be affected, okay? Uh, so now you should have an idea for A, how to move elements within a section, how to move elements out of a section, how to change the size, um, anything else you can do. So for example, if I want to change the family size here to Georgia, uh, that will also affect the desktop, okay? So, but usually this isn't something that you would change on de desktop on mobile. Usually if you have a font size, you would keep it as this. Um, so let's go back, put it back to Arial. But just to give you some ideas of what you can or can't do, uh, let's center this as well, center our logo, and that's fine. Uh, so it says it has been affected, but not that, it was the previous thing. That's fine, so so far so good. Um, so a few more things I didn't want to go over. So something like this, again, because it's within a section, we can change it and adjust it, you know, make it perfect. So let's make it fit in the middle right there. I'm gonna click that again, hit that again, and then hit this. Um, and then you just play around with this on mobile. Now. Let's suppose, uh, this a bit lower. Now let's suppose you want an element to look one way on mobile and a different way on desktop. What do you do? So as I just mentioned, if you want to change the text font here, for example, you can't do that without affecting both views. So what do you do if you want one type of element on desktop and another type of element on mobile? Well, the first thing you have to do is open this contents bar on the bottom and you have to name. So you have to copy paste the elements and you have to name them, one desktop, one mobile. So let's go here and let's suppose we want to have a different phone number on mobile for whatever reason, okay? Just to give you an example, let's suppose we want a different number. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to select it. I'm gonna go on the left-hand side after clicking on contents and I'm gonna see the one that's highlighted. I'm gonna look for the element that's highlighted. In this case, this is highlighted. So I'm gonna select that and let's say, let's name this phone number desktop, okay? And um, it has affected this view because the name has also been changed for this element as well. That's why it gave a little flash there. But let's suppose we want a different number. So what I'm gonna do here is just to show you, let's see. So if, 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 if I change this to ending in four, there you go. If I change that to four, as you can see, the number changes here, okay? So the way we counter that is we duplicate this. So I'm going to copy it and paste it and then move it over. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this one to mobile, okay? Mobile, and I'm gonna click enter. And then what I'm gonna do is these are the same, but as you can see in here, I, I have both of the same thing, right? One is a three, one is a four. And by the way, let me make this a three. Okay, so that was the original one. Uh, now, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna hide the mobile one on desktop and we're gonna hide the desktop one on mobile. So right now we're on desktop, I'm gonna click hide, okay? And right now we just hid that mobile one. Now, if we go back to mobile, we, we have to do the same thing, but the other way around. So we have to hide desktop and keep mobile. And now we can go ahead and drag this and center it. And voila, we have one element here and a completely different element there, okay? So that's just another way to, for you to play around with things. So suppose you want a different picture or you want a different, um, like I mentioned, uh, text font for mobile and desktop for whatever reason, that's how you would do it. You would need to duplicate, just like you did in ClickFunnels, where you duplicate the element and keep one for desktop and one for mobile, okay? And that's pretty much it. That is all there is really for mobile optimizing your page. Now that we've done that and we hit save, let's actually preview. I don't have to hit publish. Uh, we can just preview to see what this looks like and you'll see that there is now a big difference with all the changes we have done and as you can see here now the number is 1764 whereas on desktop it's 1763 and the page looks way better than what it looked like originally so that's pretty much it that's how you mobile optimize your unbalanced landing page if you have any questions or concerns or there's something i didn't cover that you really want to do that's not working for you let me know down below i'll be happy to take a look and help you out uh, if you want to try and bounce yourself, I do give you a 30-day free trial with my link down below, as well as a 20% off discount on your first three months after the free trial. So check that out. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, you name it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.